Hi, today I will start to talk about how to extract the data from the GeoTIFF uh, data set if you, if you have the uh, topographic data or bathymetry data as a TIFF uh, format. So for example, here we have in the NOAA eTOPA1 and it has a data set in different formats, for example, the NetCGF or GeoTIFF, your reference TIFF. I want to show you how to extract the data set um, uh, from this TIFF data. But uh, uh, in, in another video, I, I show how to extract the entire data. So when we have a TIFF, how we extract the entire data set from that TIFF file. Here, instead of that, I will show you what if we don't want to extract the entire data set, rather we want to uh, extract data set at, uh, at uh, certain points and how we're going to extract data points on those certain X and Y points. Now, to do that, uh, I will show you how to do that using the QGIS, which is the um, you know, open source uh, uh, GIS software. You can use any other uh, GIS software. I'll, I'll uh, show you how to do that in Python. Uh, you can do any other program language and like uh, MATLAB to do that. So, uh, if I want to, uh, again, as I said, I have another video that if you want to uh, extract the entire area, the data set, uh, the the entire data set from the area from the GeoTIFF so you don't you can watch that video but if you want to extract data points at certain points if you want to extract data exactly as given point and that's how you're going to do that uh, to do that very first thing that we need to do is that we have to generate the data points that we want to extract uh, elevation data at those points and uh, in uh, Python, I'm going to use a NumPy library to do that. Uh, for example, assume I want uh, to extract the data in Gulf of Mexico, and I know the Gulf of Mexico is going from uh, in the x direction from negative 100 to negative 80, and in y direction from 16 to 32. So it's the longitude, and these are the uh, latitude. And I want to extract the data point uh, at uh, 0.5 degrees. So I want to generate a mesh at 0.5 degrees from negative uh, 100 to negative 80 in the x direction and the 60 to 32 in the y direction and extract data in those uh, area. To do that, so first I uh, generate the coordinate in the x direction and the coordinate in the y direction and then I generate a 2D grid using the mesh grid function. And so these are going to be my 2D grid of containing the X coordinate and Y coordinate that I want to extract the uh, Z value at those. Then I will um, uh, reshape them to the 1D array and eventually I put them uh, together as a 2D array, um, two column arrays that the first column has the X values and the second column has all the Y values. And then I export them as a CSV file. Uh, uh, so basically, in this step, I generate uh, all the XY values, uh, all the XY points that I want to extract data at those points. Uh, I will quickly show how to do it. In MATLAB is very similar, so we uh, define the delta X and delta Y, the time, the, the steps, the interval in the X and Y. So we want to go from the minus 100 degrees to a minus 80 degrees in the x direction and from 60 degrees to 32 degrees from the y direction. So you use the mesh grid to generate a 2D grid, then reshape it to 1D, and then create a <coughs> uh, two-column array and then uh, write them as a CSV file. Or we can uh, write them as any kind of ASCII file, it doesn't matter. So I show you how to do that in Python. So here again, I import the NumPy library and then I create the uh, mesh. And as you can see, the, the mesh is created here. For example, if I show that it goes from the negative 100 all the way to negative 80s, and then the y, y is going from 16 to 32. And then I make them, uh, I reshape them to 1D and then I create a 2D uh, array. So if you open that, you see it's a two column. The first column contains the X 
or the longitudinal values and is the, the second one has uh, in a y or the uh, latitude of the all the data points I want to create and then I will just save it uh, uh, as a, a CSV file then I will uh, go to QGIS when I go to the QGIS what I need to do is just <coughs> uh, here uh, the very first thing I go in into layer and then add the layer and then add the raster layer um, for the uh, go there and choose the GOT file that we want to work and for this example I use the eTopo well, topo for the bedrock uh, grid register GOT so this is basically the file I'm using it so I choose that I already download it I choose that and I uh, open it and I add it to QGIS and after that I close it now that I added, the next thing is that I have to go and make sure that the, the reference is correct. So I'll click on properties and then go to resources and for it, it says the invalid projection. If I come here and go down in this uh, page, it says the horizontal datum is the uh, WGS84. Uh, so I, this is the projection I need to use. So I come here and I choose the WGS84 and I applied not so my T file is uh, imported correctly then I will import uh, the data points that I just created I go here and I choose this option here to bring the text layer so I click on that and then I choose the XY data I just exported in Python I open the file so if you go up there it says the CSV file because we have it but if you have other format or for example if you have other um, commas or column or any other type you can come here any other ASCII file you can choose it but because it's a CSV we will leave it there um, here it says the number of um, a headline to uh, disregard if you have any in, in your file there are any first row second row third row that you don't want to be included you can because sometimes you have some um, uh, header line there you can just ignore that then here it says the first record has the field name in, in our case it does not we only we don't have any header or field name so just unclick on that and look at here uh, when it is click it choose the very first row assuming it is going to be the header name but as soon as I click that so it says that the field one and field two and then in the next uh, one you have to choose the x so the x value is the field one and the y value is the field two and um, it already chose th th this projection if it doesn't you have to choose the projection correctly there and that's it after that you just click and add the uh, data to uh, map and close it and you can see this is the area actually we wanted to add it if I zoom on that so you can see this is around the Gulf of Mexico so it's the data set that we want to uh, extract uh, wh when uh, we add uh, this data set the next thing that we need is we go and sample or actually find the Z value as at those data fields. so to do that we have come here to processing toolbox if it's not already there uh, come to processing tab and click on toolbox and then you have this toolbox here and here search sample thing and then it's called sample raster values click on that on sample raster values and it says which data point you want to be sampled so these are the x y value we want to sample at those points and we want to sample it on the GOT file that we have and uh, then so open open file and then you just run it that's it and it's going to uh, calculate is in those sample files it's going to actually calculate the value so this sample file uh, has x y and also the z value calculated from here uh, the next thing is that just open on that on properties and go to the fields this when when it's going to export it it's going to export it with these names so it, these are the column names so probably want to change them something more meaningful so click on this 
icon here is like a pencil and then click here make it x click on that make it y click on that make it z and apply so now that everything is yz if you want to see the uh, attribute table you can open the attribute table so it have x y and these are the z value associated with all those x and y values so right click on that and then say export and save feature as and here you can choose uh, in what format you want to be saved i would for example you can if any other format you want you can choose it or you can simply just uh, select the csv file here and then you choose the uh, the file name you want for example i want to put the xyz and save it as a xyz uh, format so this is the projection and the rest you can leave it the way it is and add save all to map you probably, probably don't want it doesn't matter or you can leave it there and you then click on that and it's gonna uh, it shows you that it saved the uh, x y z values uh, as a csv file for you so this is how if you how we can sample the got file on the uh, data points that actually we want uh, uh, elevation on uh, elevation at those data points So if I want to, uh, to import the just exported XYZ file into Python, uh, I can use the load text uh, function or gen from text function of the, from the NumPy library. One thing that remember here, I just uh, put the skip row equal to one. And the reason is that the file that we just saved, the very first row in that file has the XYZ uh, header so we don't want the numpy to export that so if you look at that this is a file we just export so it has x y and z at the first first row so we basically tell numpy to skip the first row we don't want the x y z and just import the data so if i uh, run that line it's gonna ex import the data set and you'll come here and click on that you will say this is the x and this is the y and this is the uh, z data that we have Similarly, we can do that in Matlab. We can use the CSV read um, function to read it. And here we just say that skip the very first row uh, in the CSV file that we have. So we can uh, read it in Matlab. So this is how we can export the T file um, using the QGIS on the very uh, custom uh, uh, mesh grid and then the, uh, import it back into Python for uh, any purpose that we need to use them.